On January 25th, 2022, a new show was rolled out on Amazon Prime called The Legend of Vox Machina. It's an animated series set in the Dungeons & Dragons universe about a band of eight unlikely heroes who have to save the world. Sounds like a pretty standard fantasy product, right? Well, it is, unless you know the story behind the legend. The animated show was pretty much instantly a massive hit. But before there was a legend, there was a weekly tabletop gaming campaign that was streamed on the streaming service Twitch. It was a show in which, as the show's dungeon master and host Matthew Mercer puts it, a bunch of nerdy voice actors sit around and play Dungeons & Dragons. One of my favorite parts is whenever one of the players deals the final blow to one of the major baddies on the show, because Matt Mercer always looks at them and he says, how do you want to do this? It's the signal that he is turning the narrative over to the player at this point, so they can describe in detail how their character slays the big bad guy. Critical Role is still ongoing and is currently in its third campaign. Its first campaign, which began in 2015, spanned 115 episodes. And Campaign 2 ran for 141 episodes. That's a pretty impressive run for a weekly episodic show, but it's even more impressive when you realize that the typical show would be between three and a half and four and a half hours long every week, sometimes even longer than that. But what is really at the core of this story? How did a live streamed tabletop game turn into a massively successful animated series? Now, I'm not a critter, but I have watched the show on and off a little bit since around 2016. Back then, I was feeling a little nostalgic for nerdy game nights with good friends in simpler times, and I stumbled upon this little show where people were streaming their Dungeons & Dragons sessions. Huh, what is this? People broadcasting D&D? That's kind of different. I started watching the reruns, but I came to the pretty obvious conclusion, like, I'm never going to catch up on this show, you know? it's There's hundreds of episodes, and each of them is three and a half to four and a half hours long? Like, yeah, right. Well, I have to admit, I'm currently up to episode 79 of the first campaign. And for a while, I was watching campaign 3 weekly. I was tuning in so I wouldn't miss what happened. Now, this is kind of ridiculous, but by my own calculations, that puts my viewing time between 315 and 405 hours. To give you some perspective, you could watch the entire Marvel Cinematic Universe, every movie and every show, in like 80 hours. So if I ever do finish watching the whole campaign one, what'll that be? Like 400 to 500 hours of entertainment? And there are people out there who have watched this entire show multiple times. Oh yeah, and because Critical Role is available on multiple streaming services and as a podcast, I've literally never paid a dollar to watch the show, which is kind of nuts actually. But back to the real question. How did Critical Role a weekly tabletop gaming show streamed on Twitch turned into a massively successful animated series on Amazon Prime. Where did it come from? The answer is, it came from the fans. It came from people who enjoyed this completely free-to-watch show so much that they donated enough money to a Kickstarter campaign to have this animated series made. Now here's where it gets a little crazy. Initially, the cast set a Kickstarter goal of raising $750,000, the idea being that they would use that to create a one-off animated special based on Campaign 1 of Critical Role. Well, here's how that went. Donations topped $1 million within one hour of the Kickstarter campaign being launched. At the end of the first 24 hours, the totals had reached $4.3 million. And by the time the Kickstarter closed, there was way too much money for them to make a standalone one-off animated special. So the project was upgraded to a full multi-episode animated series. When all was said and done, after their Kickstarter was over, where the goal was to make $750,000, they had raised $11.4 million. That made it the most funded Kickstarter for a TV or film project in the history of the site. That is a lot of loot drops. But was it worth it? Well, let's see. The Legend of Vox Machina currently sits in an impressive 9 out of 10 on IMDb and a staggering, almost impossible 100% on Rotten Tomatoes. Oh, and also the show was greenlit for a season 2, almost the second that season 1 premiered. 
Season two, by the way, at the time of this filming, comes out in just a couple weeks. But let's rewind for a minute and go back to a pretty cool moment in Critical Role history. On November 12, 2015, at the start of episode 32 of Campaign 1 of Critical Role, long before a full-length animated series was ever a possibility, the players slash actors were ecstatic to announce to their viewing audience that their weekly game was about to be spun off into a webcomic strip. It's really cool to watch because you can see how amazing this is to them. They are so excited for it. At this point in the show, Matt Mercer takes a moment to thank the viewing audience, and he makes one simple request. Please keep watching because we want to keep making more content. With the benefit of hindsight, this moment really hits different because it strikes me how simple Matt's request is. This group wanted to make cool stuff. So to do that, week in and week out, they made cool stuff, and they just kept doing it. For 32 episodes up to that point, this group created new original content for three and a half to four and a half hours every week. Conservatively, that means 96 hours up until that point. On the higher end, 128 hours. And that's just on camera time. That doesn't include the prep work, the writing, the technical work, the setup, the production, the promotions, the marketing, the fan engagement, hundreds of hours had gone into this thing just to get it up off the ground. And the reason that this show grew legs was because they showed up. And they did so without fail for 32 straight weeks. That is the definition of prolific. Show up and create. It's that simple and it's that hard. The more content they created, the bigger it got. One really awesome moment of Critical Role is episode 60 of Campaign 1. In this episode, the group performed their show in front of a live crowd for the first time. There appear to be about a thousand cheering fans there for them, for a tabletop role-playing game. That's a far cry from the shadowy corner of your nerdy friend's basement. Seeing the standing ovation that Matt Mercer gets when he walks out onto that stage is just... It's hard to describe. The first time I watched that, I actually kind of got emotional. Like, here's a guy who just loved what he did so much and worked so, so hard at it. He invented a career that didn't even exist before. I think a lot can be learned from the dedication, perseverance, and the overall passion that led to the success of Critical Role and then ultimately the Legend of Vox Machina series. It's a good reminder that every overnight success is really the payoff of massive preparation and dedication to purpose meeting opportunity. To all the creators out there who are overnight successes in progress, this is the middle of your training montage, the central, necessary piece of the mosaic that is your body of work. So I ask you, artists and creators, how do you want to do this?